Hello, the internet saffron here, going back into Spirit Fair. And we just kind of dipped our toes in a little bit uh, last episode, so now we can really start going here. Whoops. I had to remember buttons. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, the boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right mm -hmm. time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, it's time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, mm -hmm. Stella. Have a good night. Okay, good night, Gwen. Wee. Oh, let's go in here. We'll go to sleep too. Cause yeah, we have a cozy little bunk. Yeah, why not? <laughs> little cat. I love the little cat too. I forget her name, even though it was just the last episode. For, well, it's been a while for me. There we go. LB to toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. LB, my bumper. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. Do I want to ring the bell though? It seems a little early. But okay. Sounds like Gwen woke up. Here she comes. Good morning, Stella. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look classical myth look like classic mythical challenges again. Mm. A bit cliche if you ask me. Okay. Alright, so we were supposed to go someplace. Let's go check my map. Um, oh yeah, that's right, we're supposed to go here. We should be able to just go there, I think. Um, because we needed to collect ingredients to build a garden. Stella, hi. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here, taking care of me in my final hours? You've always cared so damn much about others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Mm -hmm. We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you are, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm -hmm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano base. It was rad. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's fish for- I like that, that I can just fish. We'll fish for a little bit. Because why not? Ooh. I got a pair of old boots last time, so, you know. There, I got another fish. I imagine I'd probably get, like, better fish or something. I suppose I gotta upgrade my fishing rod. Dink, dink. Dink, dink, dink. There we go. And again, I don't know if the line can break or not. I'm just being very careful. I got another hearing! Yay! <clears throat> Do I want to cook this morning? Should I cook this morning? Oh, hold on. Well, we're at our next destination. Mostyn Cove. Oh, back up here. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Well, that is the reason we came here, right? So I'll get in my little boat. And away we go. Hello? Oh, what is? Oh! I got some empty, an empty bottle and a medium glim bottle. 
Okay. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Mm -hmm. So the best way to get the wood you actually you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. How do I chop it down? Oh! <laughs> I see, I just make a saw. <laughs> I love that, the cat hanging on the other end. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Well mm -hmm. done. Congratulations. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. <laughs> Joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat, build a field with all the maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Okay, well, I guess we'll cut... Can I get some berries? Yes! Nom nom good berries! I know that's the nice thing around here. I went for a walk with my sister. And there was some wild raspberries. Oh, they were so good. There's nothing like wild raspberries. Maybe except, you know, like wild blackberries or something. But... Ooh! <laughs> X as long as possible. Ugh. Oh, I see. Ugh. Aha! Look at us go. Oh, and then this looks like it's the end. Can't get any further. Sploosh, sploosh. <laughs> it's, I, I guess I can swim. <laughs> the way she, the way she's just floundering and splooshing in the water. All right. Uh oh. Uh. There we go. <laughs> Although maybe, maybe there's secret secrets. If I just swim along the island, can I do that? <laughs> the cat animation is great. I just love it. No, it doesn't look like anything. It looks like it's just swimming across. <laughs> I thought maybe there was other secrets or resources to collect. Nah. Just swim along. It looks like that's all we can get here. Oh, can't talk to her yet. Okay. Can, can we just leave then? There we go. Alright, now we're back. Mm hmm, I could go for an amuse-bush. Amuse bush. I don't know what that is. Okay, well now we can build a garden. Or a field. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. And boom, just like that, we have a field. Build it right next to the kitchen. Ha, it's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother mm. trying. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where you could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in mm. seeds. He has set up shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc. <laughs> oh no, it's Tom Nook! It's Tom Nook's brothers, they're here, oh crap! <laughs> All right, a shady real tarot franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want to get you swindled, I'll come with you and do all, most of the talking. I've run into the cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird, then. Okay, let's head to Hummingbird, then. <laughs> oh, oh. Do we want to go there right? What is this? Crates? And jellies. Whoa. Let's detour. We'll get to Hummingbird in a second. Gwen won't mind. And then while we're going, we're going to fish. Because it's fun. Let 
maybe. Oh, there we go. And here, I'm just gonna press it. Oh, okay. Nope, never mind. We're gonna be careful. We're gonna make sure we catch what we got. Whee! I do like this. Instead of having your typical loading screen, they're just like, oh, you can fish and whatever. And they just give you this fun little mini game. And you don't even have to do it. You could just go around the boat and do whatever. Like, what is, what is this? Well, that's all the fishing. That's your fishing tackle box. That's what is. Oh, we can go into our garden. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Oh. Uh oh, okay, so we're here apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, look at that! Press down and A to dive. <gasps> I can dive! I got stuff! Sweet! And yes, that's the cat's name. I forgot. Is there anything else I can dive for right away? Um, nope, it doesn't look like it. So we'll get back on the boat. Oh, wait. There's barnacles! I got barnacles on my boat. Stop, stop. There we go. And I'm sure they'll come in handy. Okay. All right, now we're back. Back in the boat. Let's go. Um. Okay, we can go now, boat. Whoops, this is the kitchen. Not the kitchen. Oh, is that it? Oh. Okay, let's go get some jellies in. And yeah, and then I can probably cook. Maybe I want to cook. Hmm, oh. I got a turnip. And some common mussels. Heavy logs from maple trees. Let's see if a sawmill will do the trick. No. Okay, well, let's cook that. And yeah, since we're traveling, we gotta wait for it to cook. Oh, and it's almost it's it's almost night. We probably won't get to that next area because I've been piddle-diddling around these other areas. <laughs> Which I probably shouldn't be. I probably should be following the story, but... You know, it's is you gotta get all the things. And will the fish burn if I, like, ignore it and forget about it? Will it burn? That could be a thing. Eh, 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 eh. I got another old shoe. I wonder if I have anybody with tree feet. Oh, whoops. Dang it. Now I'm getting jellies. Oh, and the food is done. Oh no, hurry. Hurry, we are in the line. We've got jellies and the food is done. And Gwen is like, what the heck are you doing? Yeah, we got another old shoe. The food is gonna burn, quick. Yeah, I got a grilled fish. Okay. Okay, I'm coming, Gwen. Mm -hmm. Jellyfish are here again. Remember, you just have to crash into them to make the light burst out. You won't get hurt, and I will feel queasy. Mm -hmm. I know they will be back, but at least it will buy me buy me a bit more time. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, that's why I'm here. Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. So come right for us. Yeah, so that's kind of the reason why we came here, is to get more jellies. Oh, that one's way up there. 
Wow, there's lots of jellies here, and they're all really high up. There's a big jelly. Yeah, that one's really high up. I don't know that I can reach it. I can't get there from here. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, oh, dang it. Oh, well. That's all right, though. We'll get what we can and call it good. Is that it? Are we all out of jellies? Oh my gosh! No, they're all up there! Quick! Aw, oh, man! I can't- oh, I can jump up there, it's just... Man! I'm losing all the- oh my gosh, there's a whole swarm! They're all so high up! I missed all of them. That was terrible. Ah, oh, see, I could stand here. Mm. Oh well. Spilled milk. Now it's nighttime. Too dark. Now we gotta wait until dawn. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go to bed then. Yes. Gwen sleeping in her little hut. That's so sweet. Mm. Alright, Gwen, time to get up. Swakey wakey. Eggs and big fish. Good morning. Okay, now we'll go to the place like we're actually supposed to go. Hmm. No, sorry, Stella. You know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. I've tried, but I just can't. That's funny. You think a deer would eat fruit? Thanks. I love it. Yay! There you go. Do you want a hug too? I gotta give you a hug. Cause I can. <laughs> so, thank you. There. Make her a little happier. Before we get going, we're gonna cook some more. Because we have a bunch of fish and stuff, so we might as well cook while we're sailing. Multitask. Okay, now we'll go where we're supposed to go. <laughs> and then while that's cooking, we don't have seeds yet, so we just go fish some more. Yay, I got another herring. Whee! And the sun rising in the background. That's so nice. This game is so pleasant. And another herring. At least that's better than the old shoes. I'm gonna have to- I'm sure there's pre- oh. Food is done! Quick! Quick! Okay. I gotta cancel it. I don't want the fish- I don't want the food to burn! Yay! I got more grilled fish! Let's cook some more! Let's cook some popcorn! Why not? Popcorn only takes a second. I wonder if the food goes bad. I guess we'll find out. Let's go. Hummingbird. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We're here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. Okay. There we go. 
It always seems like I'm going away from the island with my dinghy. <laughs> you made it to this new place I go, oh, hello. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool, I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know they can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. Okay. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the mountain gnome race, there is a nifty synergy with the level three rogue ability, Eviscerate. It's for, it's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? <laughs> sure. sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going home. Don't follow me, please. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll mm. tell people. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. <gasps> so pleasant. <laughs> And now I'm just in this person's house. Okay, okay, I'm coming, Gwen. Hmm. Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fear and the Everlight. Hmm. I've heard this monument has a power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. Hmm. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use tools, obbles, to activate it. But to get obbles, you need to welcome more spirits hmm. on your ship. I'm sure you'll soon find more lost souls like me. Like some of them here. Ah, double jump. That would be convenient. I don't have enough obbles yet. Okay. <laughs> I think this is where that guy lives. Shh. Don't tell anybody. We are not friends. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. My favorite spot at the is that. Uh, my favorite spot is the bench at the end of the pier. It's beautiful and quite peaceful. After a long day's work. Oh my. I should have told you if I wanted to keep it that way. I'm sorry, Gwen, I'm talking to the people. So you're supposed to do. Look at all these lights! Look at all these! Stroll a day keeps the doctor away, which reminds me, I haven't been to a doctor in forever. Mm. Oh no. Why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? Mm. I am not sick. I'm okay. Mm. Simply adore your hat. Our local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage berries seeds, logs, rocks, mm. all useless items. I need me a hat like yours. Ah, it is a cute little hat. All right, mm. good. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. <gasps> look at Theodore, he's adorable. Oh. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing hummingbirds since forever. You've got the glimpse, I've got the goods. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard earned glimpse. Step right up, yeah, it's called capitalism. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, a key. 500,000, oh my gosh. How much do I even, I only have 700. I can't afford that. Some other stuff, but let's let's start with some seeds. Coffee bean, carrots, turnip. Okay, well, she says, she says she really likes her coffee, so let's get some coffee. Oh, that's, oh my gosh, they're so expensive. Everything's so expensive. I don't got enough for anything. Those prices are out of control. Yeah, right? I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Yes, please. Let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. You should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. What? Madame, that's, what's the meaning of this? My friend here is a new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie. And neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But I... I can assure you my business practices are quite above bro board. Mm. We be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shitting at ends, no more double crosses. Mm. Just fair prices. I, I. Mm. So stop being dishonest at once. The next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Mm. Got it? But yes, yes, of course. Promise you I'll adjust my prices. Beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Well, very good. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'll have to be able to jump inhumanely high to make it. 
I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some of other idiots lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, let's see if your stuff is a little more reasonable. Whoops. Ah, well, it's still 5,000. It's still a lot for a key, but. Ah, uh, this is a little better. 60, 70. <laughs> they took off a couple of zeros. <laughs> Alright, so let's buy some coffee beans. Buy some corn. We'll buy a little bit of everything right now. Limestone and copper ore and maple. I don't know that I need anything else right at the moment, but okay. If you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Well, thank you, Gwen. You've been very helpful. Okay, and I can't double jump yet. It's locked, and I need the key, but I don't have enough monies. <clears throat> but yeah, okay, oh, ride the bike. Oh, that would have been so sweet. But yeah, I can't get the key yet. Oh, yes. Oh, I thought you had something to say. Oh, I mean, not really. Oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mary or Mar Margaret. It's Missy. Wait, no. Ugh. Don't tell me it's. Oh, shoot. I'll get it someday. Yeah, good luck with that, friend. Oh yeah, I can't get in there because I'm not their friend either. Yeah, I hope my next day will be ready soon. Oh yeah, that was blah. Whoops. I just go in this house. Ooh, what's this? I got, I didn't need to buy anything. They just gave me a bunch of seats. Look at that. Bought this house. Oh, there's something upstairs. More seeds! Look at that! Oh, there we go. I'm like, how do I get back down? Can I play with this fire hydrant? No. Oh, that's that spirit again. Um, well, I guess then that's all we can really do here right now, eh? Until we get the double jump or the key, which we don't have enough money for. So, we'll be back. Oh, okay, well, I guess then we leave. Hmm. All right, now you can plant seeds in there. Give it a go. Okay. I can plant corn, coffee, or linen. Hmm. Let's plant a little bit of each. Ugh. Excuse me. Your thumb is as green as your hat. The bowl will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget, you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me, which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Now that I don't love the idea of the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit fairer, and spirit fairers find spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll think you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Go, let's sail. Okay. Well, it's almost nighttime, so we're not going to get very far. New requests, the more the merrier. Oh, that doesn't look pleasant. Um, well, we're going to kind of be uh, SLL either way. Because we can't get very far. What is this? It's a little bus. A little bus on my map. All right. Um, we might as well just sleep for the night. Because the boat's going to stop moving pretty soon, anywho. And I don't know how to water crops yet. I guess we could try to make one more destination. We had those crates, so let's look. Let's go there. I said I'll probably stop halfway anyway, be stopped halfway. Because it's almost, it's nighttime. <laughs> it's 
So I guess we'll just wait and see. Yeah, because it says they need to be watered. Do I just go in here and water them? <gasps> oh, I have a magic watering can! That's awesome. <laughs> that little glow light does everything. Do that! <laughs> That's so cool! Okay. And actually, since we're swimming to that... Cr oh, yeah, it looks like a bus stop. Huh. But yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll just collect some of those resources off screen and we'll get to the next island next episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, ring that bell, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all later. Bye!